I'm getting chills when they tell me you're not yourself Trying to move, but it's hard, I'm out of Nothing belongs to you in life Oh, the picture of you cuts like a knife Whatever they call us, whatever they'll do They're running in circles, circle of fools Whatever we will miss, got nothing to prove But in the dark it's starting to Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a girl Mary Smart Kenya. In case you're new here, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on that notification bell so that anytime I post, you're going to be notified. Uh, welcome to a new video. And I know it's been a while since you saw this face. I hope I'm in the frame. Uh, because uh, my front camera is not working so i'm using the back camera so i can't see what is going on but um, i hope i'm in the frame so i know it's been a while i've missed you guys and welcome to a new video just noticed that i didn't introduce the video so i'm just here to introduce the video um i went to the market uh, to purchase some things Hey, things are so expensive, but I managed to buy like it's like a monthly grocery shopping haul. So you guys are you're going to be seeing that. So please remember to like this video, share it widely, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Please make sure you watch all the ads because that's where we get our motivation from. Please, please, please. So now let's get started. I want to go to the market. Today I'm going to the Wakulima market because this other market has limited stuff or groceries so in my list i have carrots soho or coriander dania garlic i have some other garlic so and i just need two pieces i need tomatoes and then i need fruits and the main reason i'm going to wakulima market is because of the fruits this other market has very limited uh, uh fruits especially variety um so I'll be having pineapple, mangoes, imported oranges, uh, lemons, bananas, popo, watermelon. I'd forgot watermelon. I don't know if I've forgotten anything else. And then I need matoke, cabbage, greens. As for the greens, this other market is the best. I'm not so sure of what I'll get there. And then I also need... Uh, sweet potatoes i still have cassava and fruits but i'm not so sure if i will add it will depend with how things are at the market because honestly it's been ages since i went to akulima market i hope things are not as expensive as this other market because i'll still need to uh, to pay transport for this other market i don't pay transport but wakulima market i love to pay transport a uh, minimum it's around 200 bob yeah so and then others i'm not sure if there's anything else oh i need i also need avocados i hope i'll get yes so i'm not sure if i'm going to be carrying my phone because it's very risky i don't think i'm going to be taking my phone with me but if i do i'll show you what uh some sneak peeks in the market I'm back home and this is what I got. Okay, uh, Wakulima market is way cheaper compared to this other market. And because this was half a, oh, this was one kg at a hundred bob. These were for 50 shillings. 
And then I also got some fruits. Uh, these were for 50 shillings. And then I got beetroot. And for the garlic, I just got two pieces because I have a lot of ginger and garlic. I have like three pieces of garlic. So I just needed to add two because I want to make uh, the paste. Love, love, love the eggplant. They are so fresh. Surrounded by ghosts in white And no oh, oh, oh. Whatever they call us, whatever they do, they're running in circles, circle of fools. Whatever we will means got nothing to prove. But in the dark and starting to Whatever they call us, whatever they do, we want it together. I'll be here for you. Whatever we will miss, we find something new. But in the dark and starting. I got from the market and honestly things are so 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 expensive this is going to be taking us mo most of the things are going to be taking us for a month and some a minimum of two weeks so for this I got at a hundred bob and I really love the way they look but for this I usually buy at top market I get three at a hundred bob but this I got two at a hundred bob for this i got at 100 bob each was 20 shillings for the popo i all my fruits i usually buy them raw not fully ripe so that they can ripe at home so that they don't um get destroyed when i'm uh when i'm coming back home and then i got for the avocados each was going for 30 shillings for the mangoes each was 25 cabbage was so expensive these are very tiny and very light each was going for 30 shillings for the watermelon it was going for 200 i usually tell them to cut so that if it's not nice on the inside i don't buy they change because mm -mm. and then each was going for 100 bob for the pineapples and usually when i go to this other market they sell at 150 and then for the onions, I love the price because a kg was going for 130. And this other local market, I usually buy at the other time I bought 135 for half a kg. And then for the oranges, each was going for 27 shillings. Uh, apple for 25. And then for the green maize, it was going for 10 shillings bananas 10 shillings each so this was for 150 and then for this matoke was going for 100 bob and i love the size i love how they look like and then for these tiny ones these tiny ones they were the extras that into an ongezewa and then for the carrots uh i bought at uh, 50 shillings french beans 50 and then for the red and yellow capsicum, they were going for 200 bob. These were very expensive. Lemons, the price was very fair because each I buy at 15 shillings, but these were going for uh, 50 shillings, the whole pack. Tomatoes, I bought at 200 for 2 kgs. Uh, green capsicum, these are kg at 100 bob. For the zucchini or gorget, it was going for this AKG. I think it was a hundred bob. And then for um, eggplant, I bought at sixty shillings, and it's a good. They were, I think, they around six pieces. So each was like around ten shillings, which were very fair. Uh, these were for 
50 shillings garlic was for 50 shillings uh, two pieces i have three so i didn't want to buy much and then for the beetroot i think they were going for 50 shillings if i'm not wrong for the coriander they were going for 50 shillings so that's all that i bought i think the best part i also got some fruits which are going to be taking us for some time either blatching this before i store them in the fridge as for this i'm just going to be i'm going to be separating into two pieces and then cover the uh, this part with with foil and then store them in the fridge for the tomatoes uh, i have some storage containers a uh, free storage containers that i'm going to be using you guys i'm going you're going to be seeing that but i won't store this for long i think the maximum i'm going to be they're going to be in the fridge maybe around two days before i batch cook <laughs> arranged them uh this is the big box or the vegetable rack that is usually in the fridge as for the peppers i just wrap them with the cling film and then i just mixed um lemons and tomatoes uh if you mix these two whether they're in the fridge or outside the fridge they, they tend to stay longer and then here i have um, our foods we have already eaten some and I used some oranges to bake and for this I just dipped in uh, boiling water for around two minutes and then I will store them in this container as for the cabbages I just cut them into halves wrap them with cling film and put in that a storage container as for the carrots I'm going to be adding some water if you add water they can stay up to a month, but to put them in the fridge. Personally, um, I change water for like either a week, but nowadays, because I batch cook a lot, 
Uh, I think they're going to be staying there at most two days. And then I use them. And then as for this, I just wrap with the cling film. And then I put in this storage container. Me without you now. I just can't see how. Not even if I tried. Ooh, I, I couldn't be without you now. I just can't see how. Cause I need you by my side. groceries as for the uh, fruits i've just used this rack and i've put in the top tier okay i've not washed all these fruits because they are unripe so i'm going to be washing them as soon as they ripe so that i can put them in the fridge and then as for this i'm going to be cooking them tomorrow that's why i put them there okay i don't have a big fridge that's the main reason i don't uh keep raw food in my fridge that much so we have potatoes the we i didn't buy potatoes today these were from the last uh shopping that i did and then i have our cup for servers there and then here uh, we have our onions and ginger and garlic and then here i've just added some uh, green bananas because i want to cook some matoke later on I will make some fruit juices from this not all of them others i'm going to be cutting into uh, smaller pieces and then put them in containers and then put them in the fridge so that when alex needs to eat any he it's easier for him to consume <music> You don't find cause you got me I don't wanna break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see your eyes your I want to prepare our dinner And today we are having matoke So I started by frying our red onions With coriander stem And for the ingredients We have our beef Carrots, um, tomatoes, our bananas, our green bananas, our green capsicum. We also have our green peas here. I've already pre-boiled this. And finally, we have our coriander leaves. As for the spices, today's spices, I'm going to be using beef masala because we have beef. Uh, we are going to be mixing our matoke with beef, uh, black pepper. Uh, paprika, turmeric, and some cubes. Just added our beef. So I'm going to be adding our spices. I think I've made a mistake by adding a carrots at this stage and I'm using a pressure cooker. I hope they are not going to overcook. I'm going to be adding some salt and 
some kidogo water cover this set for number one for the beef let it cook before adding our matoke I'm going to be adding our bananas, green capsicum, and green peas. There's many ways to be happy. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. I'm going to be resetting this to number seven for the steam. That's what I used to cook. It was our matoki is ready. So finally, I'm going to be adding some coriander leaves. Um, it almost overcooked because I use this steamed option. Okay, I keep on trying to cook different types of meals using the electric pressure cooker so that I can know which uh, options to use or which settings to use. Um, so this is how it turned out to so yummy, but it almost overcooked. So I'll recommend if you're using an electric pressure cooker to cook your matoke, use this saute option, which allows you to cook when your electric pressure cooker is open so that it's much easier for you uh, to monitor. So now guys, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching till now. Thank you so much for your support. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on that notification bell. Please leave a comment, like this video, share it widely, and don't forget uh, to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to this channel. Until next time, bye bye.